Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with tip number three of our 30 tips in 30 days series. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is the uh, one of my favorite uh, situational handicapping tips, and it's called the look ahead and letdown factor. Now, if you are new to sports handicapping, I'm sure you heard this many, many times on the broadcast, especially in college football. You hear the announcers say, you know what, maybe this team was looking ahead or, you know, this could be a letdown factor. And if you are wondering what is exactly a le- uh, look ahead factor, it's when a team is thinking too much in advance of their upcoming opponent, right? And sometimes they're not focusing on the current opponent, which may be a lesser known team. For example, let's say in the look ahead uh, factor situation, you got Michigan uh, facing, uh, let's say, a team like Rutgers, but they got Ohio State on deck. So they may be looking ahead to Ohio State. And while not facing, uh, putting all their attention on Rutgers, uh, or Appalachian State would be a prime example. Uh, if you recall back a couple of years ago when Appalachian State went to Ann Arbor and got the W against the Wolverines, and I don't recall who they had on deck, but that could have been uh, a look-ahead factor right there, right? So what exactly is a letdown factor? Well, a letdown factor is uh, when a team is uh, in a lose, it loses a game versus a lesser-known opponent as a huge favorite, entering the game too overconfident, and sometimes they're unable to match the same intensity that they had last week against a high ranking or maybe a rivalry game and then they uh, they get the doors blown right off them right so i got a few examples of what i want to show you here of a uh, look ahead and letdown factor i'll go to the nfl first and then i'll go to college football so let's go take a look at the tampa bay buccaneers you're defending super bowl champions of the 2020 season and last year if you recall i think this was a thursday night the chicago bears were playing the tampa bay lightning at soldier field and the, uh, the, the Lightning, yes, yeah, hockey guy, right? <laughs> the Chicago Bears were playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and uh, I don't think Steve Stamkos was there or Kucherov, but I think Tom Brady might have been under quarterback as a three-point road favorite. And as you can see, they had the uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers on deck. So maybe, um, you know, before the week, all the media saying, hey, you got Aaron Rodgers next week. What do you think of that game? And, you know, Green Bay, they're the top team in the NFC. Do you think you guys can, you know, beat them for the championship in the NFC? Um, you know, and, you know, you answer all these questions. But in the meantime, you forget you're playing Chicago because that's what happened. Tom Brady all of a sudden forgot he was playing the Chicago Bears. And the Bears won that game as a three-point home underdog, right? So maybe the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers got caught looking ahead in that situation. Now, let's take a look at... Uh, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, the team that was uh, playing Tampa Bay in the Super Bowl. And let's go to week number four in that uh, in that uh, season where Kansas City was at home against uh, the New England Patriots as a 12-point favorite. And uh, they beat the Patriots. And they, um, you know, it was a big win. Even though it wasn't against Tom Brady, it was still Belichick. It's still the Patriots. And then, you know, you get a comfortable win against New England. You go back next week. You're, you're still at home. And then you're facing the Las Vegas Raiders as a 13-point home favorite. And what happens? The Raiders come in there and uh, just surprise the Kansas City Chiefs. 40-32. And that is a classic letdown spot maybe for the Kansas City Chiefs when you look back, right? Now, let's go to college football. And this is where I find you find a lot of uh, situational uh, value betting the uh, look ahead and letdown factor in college football. Here's a great one here. And this is uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, the biggest game of the year we all know in the Big Ten is when Ohio State faces Michigan. It'll either be at uh, the Horseshoe or at the, uh, the Big House. And when Ohio State... Um, just before playing the week before playing Michigan, check out their record against the point spread four eighteen and one. And I'm surprised they got six losses here, 17 and six. But, uh, this year, look at that. So anytime Ohio state's just getting ready to play Michigan, that is a good time to bet against Ohio state because they could be looking ahead to, uh, the Wolverines, right? Now let's take a look at, um, a classic letdown factor here. And it, uh, you know, it's not a big team here, Indiana, uh, the Hoosiers, uh, but after they faced Michigan, and this is what happens when you get college students, you know, they, you know, all week, they're, they're, the, the, before they play Michigan, they're saying, hey, you got the Wolverines coming in, you're going to play Michigan, what are you going to do? And then, you know, you play the game, and then the following week, there's that emotional letdown, and it's um, it could be really taxing on, on college athletes, right? Just that, all that energy, all that emotion in one game, it's like uh, their, their Big Ten championship, right? Anytime you face like an Ohio State or Michigan, it's that big game. And look at the letdown factor in the next game. Indiana is 4-13-1 after facing Michigan. So classic, classic letdown situations 
um, for Ohio, um, Ohio State and the uh, Indiana Hoosiers in college football. So there you have it. Those are your letdown and your um, look-ahead factors. Uh, tip number three. And again, if you are interested in looking at all of our tips, check out the RAM report. Go to our YouTube channel, and I'm going to do 30 tips in 30 days in the month of July since it's those dog days of summers, and hopefully we can get you some good information and get you ready for the upcoming college and NFL season. Cheers.